23andMe, the leading personal genetics company, has made it easier than ever before to take a closer look at your DNA. And it's as simple as logging onto the 23andMe website, purchasing their simple DNA spit kit, and putting it in the mail. So I went to the 23andMe website and I ordered my 23andMe DNA spit kit. And today I'm going to go through the process with you to show you just how simple it is to learn more about your DNA and your ancestry with a small saliva sample from your own home. Once your kit arrives, you register your sample, spit into the tube provided, seal it up, and send it off to the lab, where your DNA is then extracted, copied, and analyzed. My DNA report was available online in just three weeks. What information does 23andMe provide someone who sends in their DNA spit kit? Yep, so as part of 23andMe, we look at a million points across your DNA. Um, so it's a million points of your genetic information. And then we give you about 250 different health reports. Um, and so those are on uh, different uh, inherited conditions that you could pass on to your children. We give you information about diseases that you might be at risk for or diseases that you actually might be resilient against. We give you information about how you may respond to certain medications. Um, and then we also give you some fun information about traits, things like uh, hair curl and whether you're a likely sprinter. Um, so we give you all of that on the health side, and then there's also an ancestry component to 23andMe. It's a very complete ancestry service. My report told me a few things I already knew, like the fact that I have blue eyes and straighter hair on average. But it also told me I have an increased risk of glaucoma and multiple sclerosis, and a decreased risk of type 2 diabetes and Alzheimer's disease. I discovered that I am a carrier for cystic fibrosis, 2.9% Neanderthal, and a distant relative of Katie Couric on my mother's side. As part of the ancestry feature, we have something that um, we call DNA relatives. And so we can tell if you're related to other members um, in the 23andMe customer community based on your genetics. When it came to ancestry, I had a few surprises of my own. Yeah. My dad's adopted. And so I always, he said he was Scottish and Finnish and we never yeah. knew at all. So when I found out it was actually a quarter Finnish, I was like, wow. You were right. It's actually yeah. there. No, and I think for people, that's such a good point, that for people who are adopted, like the service is profoundly valuable, both on the ancestry side, because they can find living relatives, which is cool, and they can learn about their ancestry, but also because people who are adopted often don't have any medical history. 23andMe has over 325,000 users, and most of them agree to share their DNA results with researchers. What mm -hmm. does 23andMe do with this information? And as part of doing 23andMe, we make the, um, the option available for people to participate in research. Um, and so about 90% of our users do opt in to participate in research. And what that means is that their genetic information, along with any surveys that they answer on our website, can be, those two pieces of information can be combined for us to make discoveries. Um, and that's an important part of our mission is that we feel like using this online platform, we're in a position to make research discoveries at a really rapid and kind of massive scale versus more traditional methods. Actress Angelina Jolie put genetic testing in the spotlight in May when she decided to undergo a preventative double mastectomy after discovering she carried a mutation of the BRCA1 gene, which doctors said gave her an 87% chance of developing breast cancer and 50% risk of ovarian cancer. 23andMe does report on the BRCA genes, and there are hundreds of mutations that have been discovered in those genes that increase a person's risk for breast and ovarian cancer, and we test on three out of those hundreds of mutations. What are your thoughts on people taking extreme surgical measures in a response to DNA reports such as this? Um, what we want to do is really empower people. If you want to get access to this data, we believe it's a right that you have. We want to make it affordable and accessible for you to access this information. And then you can take the next steps of bringing that to your healthcare provider or making decisions kind of downstream from there. 23andMe's goal is to make DNA testing readily available to everyone, emphasizing that genetic testing is the equivalent to looking in the mirror, providing a small window into you. That's an important thing for us that, you know, bringing genetics to the mainstream, we want to make it so that people can understand it um, and, and also enjoy it because DNA is really cool. I mean, it's, it's you. Like, this is about you. And it's so interesting. Marisa Christian, IB Times TV.